Fox News daytime ratings have completely collapsed. Weekend daytime, even worse. Hey everyone, this is Brian Lewis once again with the Benjamin Dixon Show bringing you that daily news content from America and around the world. So continuing on the theme of today for my second video, uh, something, I don't know what it is about Trump supporters, but uh, there's just something about them that really is both hilariously sad and dangerous at the same time. So earlier today, Trump went on a tweet storm like he like, which is normal for Trump. But um, he started retweeting an actor by the name of Randy Quaid. Now, me personally, I haven't seen Randy Quaid in anything. I may, maybe perhaps I have, but I'm more familiar with his brother. Dennis Quaid, I've seen him in, in quite a few things. Like I know uh, the thing that comes to my mind that his brother was in was in that uh, apocalyptic movie, The Day After Tomorrow. At first, I thought it was him, but apparently he has a brother who is who's pretty um, <laughs> who who's kind of who, who's kind of out there. So so I'm going to show you a series of tweets that Donald Trump retweeted from Randy Quaid. But then before I do that, I want to show you a couple of videos or at least one video now. They're old videos. Well, the first video is kind of old. It's from October the 12th, 2019, but it's not that long. It's a couple minutes long. And just take a look at this and just listen to this because you need to know, like, this guy's like a like a serious Trump supporter. So check this out. Is this the way America goes from George Washington to George Soros? From oceans white with foam to a socialist swamp? Is this the way America goes? Is this really our future? Wake up, you sleeping giant. The Lilliputians have tied you down with their fantastic dreams of icebergs melting into dinosaurs and train tracks stretching across the Pacific waters. Trump trumpets reveille. And it's time to heed the call. The framers have been framed. The people disarmed. Conservative voices are silenced in the schools by anarchists left unmasked. Merry Christmas is greeted cheerlessly, even condemned. Is this how America goes to a nation of godless fanatics? In the shadows of big tech, and empty condos, homeless citizens fill the streets, wallowing in their own filth, while Big Pharma sedates us with opiates. The food industry poisons our insides, and business organizations kowtow to communist marching orders. Is this the way America goes? In a stupor of ignorance? In obedience to corruption and greed? Ring out, you bells of freedom. Sound the alarm across the land. Oh, glory is being ripped to shreds by fakers and phonies and bullies and liars who want to destroy our president and redefine the sovereignty of the Supreme Court, rewrite the rules. A day of reckoning is nigh. Wake up. <laughs> oh my god I, I don't know what's 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 funnier their illusions of grandeur or delusions of grandeur i guess i should say is it's so over the top like you would think you would think Karl marx himself is about to be elected president of the united states like i know this is from October the 12th of 2019, so it's not a, a, a recent video. It's, it's really, it's it's over a year old, but I'm showing you that video to show you how far gone some of these people are. Conservative voices are silenced by anarchists? Where? Where is that happening? 
the end is nigh. Yeah, maybe for uh, maybe for the boomer generation who is holding this country back. <laughs> but what's what's with this theatrical monologue that this guy is given? I mean, I know he's an actor, but this is this is I don't think his Trump supporter is an act. I mean, this guy is is a legit Trumpster. He's he's a full blown MAGA cult follower at this point so there are some tweets that now these tweets are from today uh or at least the retweets are from today so randy quaid said quote i just don't see americans rolling over for this election fraud do you question mark and then trump retweets no with an exclamation point okay so twitter's doing this whole thing where they're saying this claim about election fraud is disputed so i I really hope they delete trump's account after he's no longer president you know that's that they will do america a service by doing that and then the second tweet uh randy quaid said never underestimate the greatest president this country has ever had trump is an astonishing man of the people fighting for all of us not big pharma america first hashtag america first hashtag keep america great then trump retweeted thank you randy working hard to clean up the stench of the 2020 election hoax you see this is the problem we can laugh about this stuff and and really quade's videos are quacky right like his his videos are they they are something to be laughed at but this is the this is the thing that i brought up in the first video that i did about how dangerous it is to to put these lies out there and put this propaganda out there this this election was not a hoax these and these people don't even have any evidence but here's the last retweet so Randy Quaid said, we've lost confidence in the system that elects our leaders. 79 million Americans believe the election was rigged. That is a problem if it's true. OK, the, the results fraudulent. We need an in-person only paper ballot revote, especially in the states where flagrant in- irregularities have occurred. No accuracy, no democracy, no proof either. That's me talking now. There's no proof of any of this. Okay, this is what happens when you have people who just drink the Kool-Aid nonstop and they get no information from outside sources. They have no it's it's hard even talking about these people because they don't even base their arguments on anything factual. So then Trump says, are you listening, Republicans? Question mark. No. I mean, well, they are, which is why this this Trump's tweet or retweet has one hundred sixty five thousand likes. But um, I want to play this last video. Now, this last video isn't from a year ago. It's from November 12th. So it it is after the election, at least. But take a look at this guy. This guy looks like a, a, a villainous Santa Claus. Watch this. Fox News daytime ratings have completely collapsed. Weekend daytime, even worse. Very sad to watch this happen. But they forgot the way they... Ah. They forgot what made them successful. What got them there. They forgot the golden goose. (laughs) The only difference between the 2016 election and 2020... Fox News. <laughs> oh my God! I don't. I mean, the camera is zoomed in on his face. He looks like he's auditioning for the role in a superhero movie for like this the super villain. He has the Santa Claus uh, beard going. Like I don't. And then you have the flashing, you know, red, green lights going on in the background. This is hilariously sad. I mean, and then what was he doing with his mouth like halfway through the video like this? I, <laughs> these are this is the Trump cult. This is what we have to deal with, folks. 
These are the type of people we have to deal with. I, I wish this man was just joking. If he was just joking, it would actually be pretty good because he's he's actually very believable. And what I what I mean by that is his his uh and I'm trying to watch my words. And I'm not trying to sound, you know, I'm not trying to use like ableist language or anything at that point. His 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 problems, I guess I should say it like that, are very believable. But see, that's the problem. He's not acting. He's he's not acting at all. I don't think I hope he is. But but I don't think he is. But I just wanted to share that with you guys, because um, you need to know who's out here and you need to know not to watch this guy's movies anymore. It, like it, I, unless you've never seen any of his movies before, like me, in which case you're good to go. So this is Brian Lewis checking out. Be on the lookout for my next video.